everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Harley Davidson just released their 2024 bikes. We're excited to show you the CVO models. This is great. Back in 1999, Harley Davidson came out with the very first CVO, and guess what? We have the 25th anniversary editions right here. We've got the legendary orange street glide, and we have the Copperhead Road Glide CVO. So in this video, we're gonna take these bikes on a run through the desert, share some more information, and have a good time. Hey, come along for the ride. on these CBOs, although they're the 2024 model. Really love the digital screen. I love the setup. The VVT is awesome as usual. What do you think, bud? I'm just digging it. You know, they perform so well. I love the cornering. I love the suspension. Everything about them is so improved. But, you know, we've spent time on these bikes before, and getting back on them again is just so awesome. And I love the new colors. Let's introduce someone that can really talk about the new color scheme. Matt, you there? Hey here, fellas. What do we got going here? How did they come up with these colors? Well, Lance is on the legendary orange, which is available on both the Road Glide and Street Glide CBO. And that's a direct throwback to the 2000 CBO Road Glide paint scheme. It was the first CBO Road Glide to have the, uh, the dual colors with the gray stripe. That one had a Screaming Eagle uh, on the fairing, and this one's got the number one on the tank, but it's definitely an homage to that paint scheme. And Copperhead comes kind of from the uh, the Snake uh, Venom family of paint schemes with a huge shift where it kind of goes from that red to the copper and even a little bit of kind of that root beer color depending on which angle you are uh, seeing it and what kind of how the sun is hitting it. So it's a really beautiful custom paint scheme that kind of changes depending on how, you know, where you are kind of at the bike. Well, we were looking at it in the sun back there when they were parked, and, yeah, just very different colors on the different angles. And there's one other thing that's really new with these bikes. What What's the comp system that's going to be with these bikes now, Matt? Yeah, so with a model year 24 CVO, we've partnered with Cardo, and we have a new Harley-Davidson branded Cardo headset that will come with the bike and connects directly to the bike and just really makes the whole comm system integrated and easy to use. Cardo has a really good mesh system, so it's easy to mesh with uh, up to a number of different riders uh, and also a, a distance of over a mile. So it's a really nice system that comes with the CBOs. So in fact, we're all on Cardos, and we're actually recording through the Cardo app this conversation. Excited for our the riders that are going to get these and pick these up with the Cardo systems, we've run them for a long time. We've just loved them since we switched out and have used the Packbox Edge, haven't we? Yeah, these are some really great communication systems on a really great bike. So, you know what? I'm really happy about what the future leads for all this. Matt, thanks for the information. We're going to probably dig into a little bit more here to see what else has changed on these bikes. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. So as you heard a little bit earlier, Matt was talking about this paint scheme derived from the Snake Venom family. I love that scheme as well, but this one, as we've been riding out here in the desert, has really taken me back to that scheme a little bit. We sit here and the color changes that go with this, so you'll get this copper, and maybe as you come around and look at this, Josh, you get this kind of yellow copper, and then as you get a little bit darker, it's almost like a root beer brown. And then as you get behind the bike, it's almost like a red hue to it. Um, it's really cool. They've inlaid the 25th anniversary banner in the front uh, fairing here. This whole bike with the black chrome and this hue change in these colors, I mean, they hit it out of the park, I'm telling you. So on this bike, they went back to the legendary orange, which was inspired from the 2000 Screaming Eagle CVO, which is a beautiful paint job. I'm loving the orange. I'm loving the, the orange gold metal flake inside of it. It gives it a deep, rich feeling. 
you got your silver and gray pinstriping, orange that leads into black. There's a few orange accents along the bike as well. So for me, this is a awesome bike, especially when you're riding out in the wild because the colors just pop, especially in the desert here. The platform of the 2024 CVO models starts with the updated mid-year 2023 design, which includes tons of upgrades like new wheels, a more streamlined and aerodynamic design, new lighting, suspension, and of course, variable valve timing, amongst many other updates. So let's get into the nitty gritty. For weight reduction, the 2023 CVO Road Glide is 35 pounds lighter than its predecessor, enhancing all aspects of performance, including acceleration and braking. As for stopping power, both bikes have dual 320 millimeter diameter front disc brakes with radially mounted four piston Brembo calipers in the front and a single four piston Brembo caliper and 300 millimeter diameter rotor in the rear to enhance feel and overall braking performance. For suspension, the new inverted 47mm Showa forks and premium shocks with 3 inches of suspension travel optimize handling performance and rider comfort. There's even quite a few enhancements for rider safety. Designed to match motorcycle performance to available traction during acceleration, deceleration, and braking, the system utilizes the latest chassis controls, electronic brake control, and powertrain technology to enhance rider confidence while riding in adverse road conditions. As far as the powertrain goes, the Milwaukee 8 VVT 121 not only delivers 8% more torque and 9.5% more horsepower than its 117-inch predecessor, it is also equipped with a number of new features like optimized liquid-cooled cylinder heads, a new intake track, and a single counterbalancer tuned to cancel undesirable vibrations. Not to mention a 3-5% improvement in fuel economy over a standard drive cycle compared to the prior year Milwaukee 8 117 models in the same riding conditions. Sitting at 139 foot-pounds of torque and 115 horsepower, the new VVT powertrain is no joke, right out of the box. The VVT broadens the overall power band and torque management compared to the same engine with fixed valve timing, and we got to fill that during this ride and on our run to Sturgis. Last year, we rode the 121 VVTs to Sturgis and back, and in our 3,000 miles of riding, we were impressed with the smooth, consistent power and performance of the updated powertrain in all weather conditions. Whether we were in sixth gear on the freeway and gave it a pull or cruising the canyons in third, there was never a lack of power and there seemed to be a lot more flexibility in each gear in different scenarios. The updated styling was a massive change for the touring platform especially the fairing on both the Road Glide and the Street Glide. The iconic gesture remains, but the surfaces now have a higher degree of tension and definition, contributing to aero comfort gains for the rider. Between the new powertrain and aerodynamics, these feel like all new bikes that we can't wait to spend more time on in the future. Check out the video description below to see the reviews on the rest of the 2024 model year touring bikes from Cycle Fanatics, Blockhead, and Just GQ. What a heck of a great time we've had riding these new CVOs. The 25th anniversary of the CVO. We got to see them firsthand. We got to ride them. I hope you enjoyed the video watching all the stuff that we showed you about these. Yeah, we want to thank Harley Davidson for allowing us to be out here and film the behind the scenes. And we'll be the first channel to actually drop the 2024 CVO's 25th anniversary. You got to go into the dealership and see these things. The color scheme is amazing. The hue shift on this bike is insane. The, the throwback to 2000 with the number one, who doesn't love that number one? But you know what? The big key is to get to the dealership and see these in person, ride them in person. You'll definitely take one home. I know it. So ring that bell, make a comment, subscribe, and you know what to do. Yeah.